Hello, my name is Jake Bloom. I'm a principal solutions architect with Oracle Cloud. Today, we'll be performing a live traffic analysis with Wireshark and VTAP on OCI. There are many different places where we can capture traffic using a VTAP, such as a virtual machine, load balancer, a database system, Exadata database, and autonomous database. Today, we'll be focusing on capturing data for a virtual machine. And this virtual machine will be hosting Nginx. To capture the data with an Nginx, we will need to deploy a VTAP. We will connect the Nginx VM as a source. We will then deploy a network load balancer where the VTAP can send the traffic. Afterwards, we will push the traffic to the VTAP backend, which is a virtual machine that will be holding the mirrored traffic. We will be initiating a request to the Nginx virtual machine. And then we will be analyzing the request of the mirrored traffic directly within Wireshark within our desktop. Let's get started. We will begin by creating an instance and calling it our VTAP endpoint. And then we'll make sure that we have all the correct parameters such as the availability domain and the shape. We'll make sure that the VCN is correct and the public subnet is chosen. And finally put our public key into our virtual machine. Now that this virtual machine is provisioning, we will go ahead and go to build our network load balancer. So we'll start by clicking on Network Load Balancer, naming our load balancer, making sure that it's set to private. We'll go Next. We'll set the listener name to UDP 4789 for VXLAN traffic. Also set the port number. The backend set name will be called VTAP Backend and we'll add the backend that we just created in the last section. We'll do a health check policy of TCP 22 to do a health check based off of the reachability of SSH. And then we will create a network load balancer. Now that this is provisioning, we will go ahead and we will build a VTAP. We'll start by creating a VTAP. We'll name the VTAP. And then we'll set a VCN. Afterwards, we'll set an instance. We'll set the public subnet. Set our Nginx web server as the source. The target will be the network load balancer. We'll finally create a capture filter. This capture filter will be called any because we'll be sending all traffic from this virtual machine to the VTAP to be collected. We can make more filters as shown here, but we don't plan on doing this in this session. Go ahead and create the VTAP. There are some additional parameters that we want to add as well to make sure that we're not overloading the WAN when we're doing this data collection. So we will set the VNI to something that's identifiable we know is uh, VTAP traffic. And then we will set the max packet size to 500 just to make sure that we're only collecting headers and we're not collecting payload, which is unnecessary for this particular collection. Go ahead and start the collection. Nothing's actually collecting at this point because we haven't finished our configuration, but we'll start that now. We'll go to the VCN and we'll set up a new security list or at least a new uh, part to our policy. We'll add two pieces. One is ingress traffic to the web server on port 80. We'll name that web ingress. And then we'll create a second rule this rule will be for the VXLAN traffic. So we'll do UDP, destination to port is 4789, and this will allow everything within the subnet to be able to have VTAP traffic ingressed. Do note that the health check rule is already built with the default security list and ERES rules are already set to quad zero. If they're not, make sure that you configure those now. To quickly show how I built the Nginx server, I'm just gonna show how I SSH and then run some commands. If you have any curiosity on how this works, then just go ahead and pause the video. Now that the Nginx server is complete, I've curled and it's running. So let's go ahead and hit the public IP address. It works, which is great. So now I'm ready to set up my VTAP endpoint. So within Wireshark, we go to the SSH remote capture, which is SSH dump. 
and then we will modify some parameters to be able to collect on our local machine. So we'll start by putting in the public IP address in port 22. We'll set the proper username, and then we will set the proper private key for our SSH session. Once those are done, we'll set the remote interface. I'm not doing anything here, which is the default interface. And then TCP dump. And then we make sure that sudo is on the remote machine. Once we're done, we'll click on capture. And you can see that I'm starting to capture traffic. I'm gonna go within the command prompt just, just to make this a little bit more clear. So I'm running curl. I'm trying a few different filters here. I'm speeding through this just to show you kind of how I'm finding the data. I finally found a good filter that I want based off of my public IP address and destination port of port 80. I run a curl command and immediately I see that traffic. So on my local machine, I can see, I can troubleshoot live and I get an extremely rich data set that I can troubleshoot with. Thank you for watching the session. I hope you enjoyed it.